Yes, finally got my gigabit networking gear put in. Right, you're with PC Tech Tips, and today we're going to go through my networking, uh, sort of networking stuff. Right, now down here we have the router. This is where it all begins. Not really, but yes, that gives us internet that um, comes with the network as well. You can have a network without internet. So this just provides internet and wireless access point. Um, this is a 300 megabit per second wireless access point with a fast ethernet port. So that's fairly pointless, isn't it? But um, I can still get 100 megabits per second through Wi-Fi. It's still not too bad. So this makes internet happen in an easier way to explain it. Here we have the gigabit switch. Now this is like the cheapest switch I can find. I went to went to find the cheapest switch I could find just to uh, see how good they actually are. Now this is the Tender 5 port gigabit ethernet switch which was $31. That was pretty cheap. Also got some of these gigabit PCI, PCI Express adapters. Um, two of them, what do they cost me? They're about 20 bucks each I think. And a uh, $41 ethernet switch and I just made the screen go off. So in total, what's that? That's $81 there but then you got to put shipping on top of that so um the cool thing about the switch is these lights down here you can see green is uh, 100 uh, sorry green is gigabit networking um, so the server is gigabit and that's port number one the other two one's Wi-Fi and one's to networking to another room in the house. Number four is to the other side of the room and um, that provides gigabit networking over on my test bench. So therefore I can access files more quickly from the server. Right, let's have a look around the back. Okay, down the back we have the uh, PCI card installed. This uh, server does not have built-in gigabit. It has an NVIDIA fast internet controller. Interesting, it's got NVIDIA. It's the first time I've ever heard they've made chipsets, but that's out of a old compact computer with a dual-core Athlon 64. Down here we've got the switch. Only one port left. That's right. I might install a home plug actually. Um, or even just have a high speed access point. One link goes straight to the uh, router. I'm using the half meter category 5 cables from server to here uh, to switch to router and then category 6 to the other side of the room. There's also category 6 to the networking to the other room but um, I just got to put a gigabit switch in the other room too but that's more of a private person's room so I can't just go in there and um, disrupt it. Okay so I comes across to the test bench over here where I have a motherboard stand. Um, here's where we have the gigabit ethernet controller. I noticed the chips get really hot the main chip in here, the processor. That gets really hot. That's the ethernet processor. Um, it's real tech. It has an interesting slot there. We can put another IC in there. I don't know why. But um, here we have a Windows 7. Um, and we're just going to do a test. Now, I don't think this will be very fast at all. Even though it's got gigabit, um, gigabit stuff put in. It's got 5 12 megabytes of RAM. Oh, it is 27 megabytes per second, 29. I've actually hit 40 once. 
Um, yeah, so this computer here only has 256 megabytes of RAM. Is this computer was a fail? Someone gave it to me and installed Windows uh, 7 by the looks on it, and um, I'm not too sure what version this is, but someone's installed Windows 7 to this computer, and it's absolutely failed it because it doesn't have any drivers for Windows 7, and um, and it's not even genuine anyway. But that was just a fail because someone put Windows 7 on a very old computer. I think it's a Pentium 4, 3 gigahertz hyperthreading. But 256 megabytes of RAM is not enough at all. Okay, so that's basically how it works. We start from incoming phone line, comes down to the router, um, comes across to switch. That gives off internet via Wi-Fi, so it just comes directly off the router. So it gives it a good speed as it's sort of direct instead of going all the way around the place. There's a link between the router and the switch, so that gives everything connected to the switch networking and internet. So it's high speed networking and internet. Internet's low speed here, it's very slow. About 2.5 megabits up and 0 0.7 0 0.70 up but here's a diagram of the switch going to a couple of computers now this isn't accurate this is just a quick drawing now the switch also goes down to the high speed server now this has SATA 3 alright it has a quite fast hard drives and very fast computer so here's your sharing here and there's your data cloud so data cloud the storage I've got 1.5 terab terabytes plus a 360 gigabyte SAS drive I think it's 10k I don't know what you call 10k drives but I thought I'd try it out and um, there's your sharing obviously so you can share stuff that you can plug into the computer so if I wanted to plug in a memory card you can share it across everyone or whatever if I want, or I can even share the CD drive so if I'm going through installing an antivirus program on every single computer I just put the CD in the drive and then just go around to every single computer and just install it that way it saves carrying around um, CDs I've also got to get this open up Windows Loader get this activated because apparently it's not genuine but I don't know, whoever put Windows 7 on it wasn't me